No more ridiculous. The two legged ape. Homo supria. The arrogant ape. Homo nudus, or how you want to call this creature, is a curious. It's a marvelous curiosity. On his very best, he is a kind of a low necroplaned angel. On his very worst, whatever. He is unbelievable. Unforgivable. And. Unimaginable. But all the time, by all the means, he is a sarcasm. The most surprising thing. This creature thinks he is the most special thing on the planet. He thinks, the ones at least who believe in a god, that the gods look, uh, look down to them and think, I love that creature more than I love that creature, the pig, or the chicken, or the whale, or whatever. That naked ape, that's my favorite creature. That's what people think. That's what religious people think. I believe in one of the gods. Spectacular, the I Abrahamic gods. When in reality, not one good god, if not one favorite. Just like good parents have not a favorite child, they are all equal. All creatures are uh, actually part of the creation and are all cre created by the hands of God. We believe in that kind of stuff. So, Why does this monkey think he is more special than, uh, than the gorilla? Or a chimp? By the way, in contrary with the stupid people of the moronic omnivore diet, yes, there are truly people who are so fucking dumb that they think they are can't good to digest and be healthy on rotten meats. Like that um, guy, what was his name already? Oh yes, um, say Trarich. Or um, that I use his old um, RuneScape <laughs> gamer name, Kid Ranker, a PvP player, play killer, an internet MMO bully. <laughs> Like out of them. And now he's bullying innocent animals with his uh, extremist cult diet. When I was really starved and then I started eating again, I wanted flesh so much that I actually wanted human flesh. And there's a reason for this. I got mad at these doctors there because they were giving me this carbohydrate shit and the doctor told my sister that I'm definitely going to die he had no doubt about it and that if I don't get this uh, astronaut food so to say this uh, uh, liquid stuff which is basically based on carbohydrates and tastes like chocolate milk and they he put that stuff in my nose it went through to my stomach and that's how I pretty much got back all those vitamins minerals whatever uh, my mom thankfully brought me a lot of food secretly I wasn't supposed because of the so-called refeeding syndrome and that when you eat you throw everything up if day nine I pulled out the thing out of my nose I just couldn't take it I didn't sleep for pretty much for nine days except for a few minutes because I couldn't even sleep because I couldn't even breathe the doctors thought that I'm uh, a danger to myself and they uh, they want to send me to some other place uh, there's a lot of stuff going wrong there and that's why I actually wanted to just bite one of them 
and eat them. <laughs> Looking back at this, it doesn't seem weird at all, but actually, generally, now since I've been eating raw meat, I don't find it weird in any way at all. It's actually really quite natural. You must kill Sverage, kill humans and eat their flesh. I can even imagine that many carnivores think um, that the carnivore diet is insane. Eating only meat, only flesh, only the flesh of another bee, only animal meat, no vegetables, only rotten flesh. That's what that um, guy thinks is uh, healthy. Kills Verage. This is my high meat. This is a one month old ribeye steak. As for the high meat, all you've got to do is put meat in a jar and just let nature do its thing. For whatever reason, I got this bacteria called Campylobacteria enteritis, something. <laughs> I'll write it in the description and. Uh, what I actually got was one of the rarest cases where uh, rare, more rare than others people usually don't get this is that my muscles started uh, stopped working and it took me a month now to actually get fully recovered from it I couldn't really open the door I, I was sort of worried but only a little bit because I didn't really take it that serious and uh, I actually talked to a trainer and she said that many people got uh, completely paralyzed from it and some people even die from it because it goes in the heart and the heart is a muscle and makes the heart stop beating so that's those are really bad cases so in that sense I even got lucky I couldn't run couldn't skate uh, because the legs weren't really work even he looks terrible speak like girl if you look how short he is on my arm. When he was a gamer, he has not so large high one. He has. Uh, yes. Some of you say maybe that my high line is also not so very small. But I sh be sure his high line is larger. Plus, my hairline is actually. Going um, again to my front of my of my eye. Can I can I show pictures of me a couple of years ago? And then you can see that my hair is actually improving. Surely, yeah, it's, it's running. Now it is so short, it's uh, <laughs> no, not even a pun. Yes, this on um, top is short, and here I have it longer. This is so my hair is insane at this moment. <laughs> when darkness and light become one, the reality sprints away, and the truth becomes visible. Ultra past the three stages. First, it is mad and radical. Second, it is violently opposed. Because people don't like change. People like to live in their own little matrix and not want to think about things because thinking is hard for most people. Because the majority of people seems to be incapable of thinking. Uh, but only to believing. Seems not capable of reasoning, but only order, taking orders from dictators or authority. No matter if you call them indeed dictators, or you call them presidents, or kings and queens, emperors, or whatever title you want to give them. Okay, I'm on the same thing. Authority. And I am not convinced that anybody have the right, spectacular, if it come to a 
person of our species have the right to make laws that have been dogmatic enforced by a bunch of of simple people who are brainwashed to believe they are more superior than anybody else. Again. How can you ask for something you are not willing to give? I don't care if you are a woman, gay, homosexual. I care not if you are black or if you are a transgender or what else. The only thing I care about if you are vegan and don't cause intentional massive harm to innocent living animals and the environment of the earth. So, are you choosing to be my enemy? Or I choose you to be my friend? Because I won't speak or stop speaking for the animals or the environment. As long as if I live, I will not stop being that judgmental vegan who is right in your face. And that I'm judgmental does not mean that I'm an asshole or a dickhead. It just means that I have the capacity to judge. Judge mental. As you next time.